Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I did this matte green smoky eye look and I absolutely love the way it turned out. I've been wanting to do an all green makeup eye look for a very long time now and I'm just so happy with the way it turned out. It is definitely one of my top five favorite makeup looks that I have ever done. So if you want to find out how I got this makeup look, then keep on watching. And make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video because I am doing a giveaway in this video. There will be two winners, so if you want to know how to enter this giveaway, make sure you keep on watching till the end. To start off this eye look, I'm taking the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette. And I'm taking that shade Access on a morphe fluffy crease brush from their vegan pro set and i'm just going to work that into my crease in windshield wiper motions until i build that color up then on that same morphe crease brush I cleaned off the brush and I'm going into that shade Top Secret and I'm working that into my crease but keeping it below the yellow shade in windshield wiper motions until I get the intensity that I would like. I cleaned my brush off again and then I'm going back into the shade Access to build up the intensity of that yellow color because it got a little washed out when we added the green into the crease. Taking a fluffy shader brush from the Vegan Pro set, I am taking that shade Top Secret and I am packing that into my crease to build up that muted green color. And I just keep packing that shade on until I'm happy with the intensity of the color. Going back in with Access on the fluffy crease brush, I am just blending the shade Top Secret and Access together into my crease for a seamless blend. Then I'm going back in with the shade Top Secret, but this time on a Morphe E17 brush so I can get nice and precise in the crease and make sure the color is exactly where I want it to be. I was starting to notice a little fallout so I wiped that away and I added translucent powder to the bottom of my eye to catch any fallout so that my base doesn't get ruined. Then I'm going back in with the shade Top Secret on that E17 brush and I just keep blending my crease. And now I'm just going to keep rotating between the Morphe E17 brush and the shade Top Secret and my Morphe Fluffy Crease brush and the shade Access. And I'm just going to keep rotating those two shades and blending and adding color and blending and adding color until I'm happy with the intensity of the colors and how blended it is and how seamless it is. I also want to mention that I already did my base because I knew this video was going to be long and I didn't want my base to take up even more time of the video because it's almost always the same. I use my Nivea Men's Post Shea Balm as my primer, my Maybelline Superstay Foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. 
like always the same old same old stuff and now I'm going in with the original Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm taking the shade Enchanted on a Morphe E18 brush and I'm just going to pack that shade onto my eyelid and I just keep packing on the color until I get the intensity that I would like. Once I've built up that shade Enchanted, I'm going to take a clean Morphe E17 brush and blend Enchanted and Top Secret together in my crease for a seamless blend. Then I'm going to pack Enchanted back onto my eyelid using a Morphe E18 brush to build that intensity back up. And then I'm going back in with my Morphe E17 brush to blend Enchanted and Top Secret together. Then I'm packing Enchanted back on again with my Morphe E18 brush. And it's just a repeat of these steps. Then I'm going to take the shade Access on my fluffy crease brush to just add a little bit more of that yellow in there. Then I'm going to take Access on a Morphe M506 brush and I'm going to blend that onto my lower lash line. Then I'm going to add the shade Top Secret really close to my lower lash line. I'm keeping it right against my lash line. I don't want to bring it down too low because I still want you to see the yellow popping out. Then I'm taking the Jordana Easy Liner in the shade Sea Green and I'm lining my lower lash line. Then I'm taking the shade Top Secret again to help smudge out that eyeliner color and make everything very nice and blended. Now I'm taking the Pretty Vulgar The Ink in the shade Black List. This is just a gel liner and I'm lining my top lash line to get it prepared for lashes. Going back into the Armed and Gorgeous palette, I'm taking the shade Coin on a Morphe E36 brush and I'm just popping that shade into the inner corners of my eyes to give it a nice metallic yellow pop. I really love this shade and I think it complements the eye look so well. Then I took the Salon Perfect Lashes in the style 614 and I applied them to my eyelids. Moving on to my face, I'm taking the Maybelline Master Contour in the shade medium to deep and I'm using that bronzer shade on my little benefit hula brush that I always use and I'm going to contour slash bronze my cheeks and my jawline and when I say contour slash bronze I mean I don't really like contour shades because I think they look too muddy but I do focus the bronzer a little more deep in my cheekbones and then I blend it up so it's contouring slash bronzing to me. I'm taking that same bronzer shade on a Royal and Lane Nicker Mata Pro 130 brush and I'm just applying it to my forehead using tapping motions. Then I'm taking the same bronzer on a Morphe M506 brush and I'm going to contour my nose. I'm just drawing two lines down the center of my nose pretty close together. And then I also contour around my nostrils. I contour my cupid's bow and my bottom lip to give the appearance of a bigger lip. And I'm going to blend that contour out using my e.l.f. concealer brush. Now I'm going to bake the contour on my nose and my cheeks using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm blending the areas that I bronze with the Morphe M437 brush so nothing looks too harsh. Then I'm going to go in with the Becca Prosecco Pop Highlighter on my Morphe M510 brush. I wanted a very gold highlight, but then I just wasn't feeling this one, so I end up going in with my MAC O Darling highlight over it. So you could pretty much skip this highlight if you want. So here I am adding the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in O Darling. I love this highlighter. It's so pretty. It was exactly what I was looking for. And now I'm applying it to my nose using a Morphe E36 brush. For blush, I'm using the Ulta Cheek Color in the shade Fame on a Sonia Kashuk number 113 brush. And I applied a lot of blush. I look a little bit clown-like, but it's okay because I'll blend it out in a second and everything looks fine. Now I'm taking my Morphe M437 brush and I am wiping away the bake and I am also blending my bronzer and contour and highlight together so now you can see the blush does not look so harsh. Everything is coming together very nicely and looking very blended. To line my lips I'm using the Morphe lip liner in the shade Coffee and Kissy. And yeah, there's pretty much not a lot to this. I'm just lining my lips like normal. Then I'm going in with the Jeffree Star Blur Liquid Lipstick in the shade Celebrity Skin. But I wasn't feeling this lip combo with this eye look. It just wasn't me. So I end up switching it up and adding a gloss on top of it. And then I really love the way it turned out with the gloss. I went ahead and added the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in the shade Tease over top the liquid lipstick and I love that combo. Then I'm setting my face with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This is the final makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I love this makeup look so much. I know I say that about all the makeup looks that I do but this is definitely one of my favorite makeup looks I've ever done top five definitely i think i've just been wanting to do a green eye look for so long that now that i've finally done it i'm just so happy i love how everything turned out i love the eyes with the lips i love the highlight i love the yellow on the inner corners i love everything about this makeup look i'm so happy with it and i will be wearing it more than once but anyways, enough about the makeup look because I know you've all been waiting for the giveaway. So let's move right on to the giveaway. I recently reached 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel and to some people that might not be a lot. But to me it is and I'm so thankful for all of my subscribers and just doing my videos makes me so happy. And I don't care if I have 10 subscribers or 100 subscribers. I just really, really like making my videos. And it just makes me happy seeing people enjoy my videos. So I want to do a giveaway to give back. So as you can see, there's going to be two winners. So you could either win bag one or bag two. Both bags include things that are the same and things that are different. The things that are the same in each bag are tattoos, and they're the really cute metallic tattoos. I think that they would work really well for festivals or Halloween makeup looks, such as a gypsy or a goddess or Medusa or lots of different things you can do with those tattoos. Audrey Hepburn notebooks which are super cute and super glam on the inside and very fitting for this giveaway. Sheet masks, makeup bags, Victoria's Secret rollerball perfumes, impress press-on nails which are great for if you need to 
go somewhere and you don't have your nails done and you're trying to look cute you can just pop them on super fast and super easy and they stay on very well each winner will receive three nail polishes and a glitter from bulk glitters and Ellen Tracy glitter lip glosses those are the things that are the same in each bag now the things that are different in bag number one the winner will, will receive a Pure Cosmetics Contour Palette, a Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick or Gloss or whatever, an Ellen Tracy Color Corrector Palette, Lip Masks, a set of Dermalogica Skin Care, an Ulta Beauty Eyeshadow, a Too Faced Glitter, and a few other skincare and beauty items. The things that are different in bag number two, the winner will receive a Crown Glam Rock Eyeshadow Palette, a MAC Lipstick, an Ellen Tracy Bronzer Palette, Under Eye Masks, a Beauty Creations Matte Lip Gloss, an Alette Face Paint Lip Plus Cheek Tint, and other skincare and beauty items. How to enter the giveaway is very, very simple. I am doing the giveaway through a website called Gleam. So all you have to do is go into my description box down below and it will be the first link and it will say giveaway next to it and everything. You can't miss it. All you do is click on that link. It will have you put your name and your email in. Once you do that, you have to just click on a little YouTube button and that will verify that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. And that's it. That's all you have to do. You must be subscribed. But that is it and you are automatically entered into the giveaway. If you would like extra entries on the giveaway, then you can go ahead and give this video a like and comment on this video saying why you like my YouTube channel. And if you want, you can also comment which bag you would want to win if you do end up winning the giveaway. I will try to get you the bag that you want. I will do my best. And then for a bonus entry, you can follow me on Instagram. So you'll just click the little Instagram button through the Gleam website and it will take you to my Instagram. And for another bonus entry, you can follow me on Twitter. And it's the same thing. Just click the little button and it will take you to my Twitter. So you could have a total of three entries if you want. You don't have to. You can just subscribe and enter that way. The giveaway starts today, October 4th. It's open right now. You can go right in the description box and enter the giveaway. And it will end Thursday, October 25th at 6 p.m. So you have until Thursday, October 25th at 6 p.m. to enter my giveaway. I will be picking the winners the next day, October 26th. And I will be contacting them through email so make sure when you enter you use a valid email an email that you check very often and make sure you are checking your email on October 26th because you will have 24 hours to respond to me once I email you if you are the winner if you do not respond to me within 24 hours I will be picking a new winner and once I have the winners picked out and they have responded to me and everything I will be announcing the winners on YouTube and other social medias so make sure you use a valid email good luck to everyone who enters the giveaway I can't wait to send whoever wins their makeup and beauty products and I really hope whoever wins enjoys it and I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Like I said, it's one of my favorite makeup tutorials I've ever, ever done. I love this makeup look. And if you enjoyed it too, or if you want to win the giveaway, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.